Ghost Inspector is an automated UI testing and monitoring service. It allows you to build or record browser tests that check specific functionality in your website or application and will alert you when things break. Let's take a look. I'm going to log into the application here. Initially, I'm brought to my test suite screen. Suites are just a way of grouping tests. I can create one over on the right side, but instead, I'm going to install the Chrome Recorder extension and create some tests really easily. I click Install and add the extension. Now I have a Ghost Inspector icon in my toolbar. Let's record a test. Boxy is a language learning startup in New York. I'm going to test their onboarding flow and make sure things are working properly. I open the extension. First, I need to log in. Now I'm ready to start recording. Once I do this, the Ghost Inspector extension begins tracking my actions. So I'm going to click Start Now, and then I'm going to proceed through the onboarding process. Select Intermediate, Next, Travel Broad, Next, Technology, Next. Now I'm on a sign-up form. I can keep going, but I'm going to stop here and make some assertions. Assertions are a way of making sure that something is true on the page and help Ghost Inspector determine whether my test has passed. I'm going to click the extension again, switch over to Make Assertions mode. I get a cross here. here. I'm going to select Travel and Technology to make sure those things have showed up. That's a good indication that my test is working. Now I'm going to say I'm finished. We'll give this test a name, and it's going to be created in a new suite. I'll save this test, and I get a link to it. Now I can click this link and view the test on its initial test run, but instead I'm going to come back here to my dashboard and refresh. You can see I now have a new suite with one test in it. And if I come inside, we can see there's my Voxy test and it's processing. Let's click on it. So this test is in progress during its initial test run. What's happened is the Ghost Inspector extension has shipped all the actions and the assertions off to our cloud service. It's now running through those same actions in the cloud. In a moment, it'll come back and you'll see the steps it went through along with a video of the test, a screenshot, uh, and console information. At that point, I can edit the steps, or I can set various options, I can set it on a schedule, all kinds of different things are available. Let's give this test a second to finish. And it's done. You can see on the left side here, I've got my test steps. We use CSS selectors to target elements. You can see all my various clicks. Down here are the assertions. On the right side, I can watch a video of my test. This is from the execution that happened in Ghost Inspector's cloud service. You can also see a screenshot. We do something called screenshot comparison, which will check your screenshots every test run and look for changes. It can alert you if something has changed in your UI, even if your test is working properly. I have the option to edit my steps. I can come in here and add new ones, change them, move them around, delete them. I can even build tests from scratch with this editor. I also have a number of settings. Settings in my browser, timing settings, screenshot settings, and so on. I have a schedule. I could say, I want to run this test hourly. I could come down and turn notifications on and say, yes, I'd like to get an email and send it to me every time the test is executed. I'll save that. I'm ready to go. That's a quick look at Ghost Inspector.